If you go to start menu, then go to computer, right click on it and select manage. Now go to disk management here on the left and you're gonna have this uh, page here. Here you can see all of your disks and uh, their capacities just to the right side as you can see here. So for this video I'm gonna partition the drive C. So go to the middle of this page, select the drive C, then right click on it, and as you can see we have shrink volume, select it. So as you can see here, shrink C, this is what I want, here you can enter the amount of uh, space to shrink in megabytes, here I have about 97 gig gigabytes, and this is what I want, then click shrink. Now after it finished, we have this unallocated space. So you have to go and to right click on it, then new simple volume, then this volume wizard, you have to click next, then next then you have to assign the letter that you want for the drive I'm gonna leave it as it is so click next then format this volume with the following settings NTFS allocation unit size default and volume label here you can put the name that you want. Then click next and then finish. As you can see now it's formatting. Now after it finished you can go to my computer. And you can find that there is a new disk. And this is what we created. In this video I'm gonna show you how to make a bootable Windows 8 from a USB drive. Using a software called Win to Flash that was starting up at the beginning of this video. It's a free software, I will have the links in the description below. So insert your USB drive and be sure to back it up 
before you have anything done as it's gonna format and delete everything on your USB by the way your USB should be at least 4 gigs to have a Windows 8 on it so what you need to do is when you open up Win to Flash you have to go to Windows Setup Transfer Wizard then go to next here you have to select your Windows Files path it should be or you on your CD-ROM click OK then select your USB drive then OK and then next accept the terms of uh, the license agreement then continue it's gonna warn you that it will format and erase all data on the USB drive click continue then it will start to format your USB drive and then it will copy all of the Windows files so as you can see guys now it's done click next then exit and that's it now we have a bootable USB drive for Windows 8 in this video I'm gonna install a Windows 8 from a bootable USB drive alongside the Windows 7 so it's gonna be a dual boot Windows 7 and Windows 8 so put your uh, USB drive into your uh, laptop and start your laptop I'm gonna go to setup to choose from where to boot I'm gonna zoom in so this is the booting options here so here you can see boot device priority click enter then I'm gonna use my USB drive it is this one last one sand disk cruiser to move it up I have to press F6 all the way up and then F10 to save and exit as you can see now it's reading from the USB flash drive it is still loading So this is the Windows setup menu of Windows 8. Choose the language that you wish to install. English United States. Time and currency formats. English United States. And keyboard or input method. The US. Then next. Choose install now. Setup is starting. Now I'm gonna select the operating system that I want to install. This laptop that I'm using now supports only 32 bit. So this is what I'm gonna use Windows 8 32 bit. You can choose the N 32 bit Pro Enterprise, then click Next. Accept the license agreement, then Next.
you have two options to upgrade install windows and key files or custom installs windows only so I'm gonna use custom install so as you can see here you have different drives this one is where the Samsung recovery this is for the Windows 7 started that I have on this system and this is the primary drive where I have my Windows 7 installed I'm gonna choose this one that I created earlier in this video click next This way you are not going to install over Windows 7. Now it's copying files and then it will start installing. So now it finished and it will restart. Before it restarts you can take your flash drive. Now we will go again to boot setup. and we will just change it back to the way it was As you could see in the screen before you could choose an operating system so it actually I didn't because it went directly to Windows 8 because it, it gave me some time to choose and I didn't anyway this is what I wanted to go to Windows 8 to continue the setup Now it's finished, it's restarting. I was talking about here that you could select which windows you want to boot. So I'm gonna boot again into Windows 8. Here you're gonna enter your product key. So let's go ahead and enter it. Click next. Here you have to put the PC name that you want. I'm just gonna enter my name and you can choose the color that you want. and then next so this is the wireless setup now and connect then enter a password here and here you have some settings you can customize it or use express settings express settings will install recommended updates and automatically it will help protect your PC from unsafe files and websites blah 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 I will choose to customize here we have two options to turn on sharing and connect to devices and not to turn on sharing so I'm gonna turn it on 
here you can choose whether to update your windows or not I'm gonna choose not to update for now I'm gonna do that later and here automatically get device drivers apps and info I will leave it on help protect your privacy I will leave it on 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 and then next Here we have again some settings, send Microsoft info to help make Windows and apps better. I will leave everything off. And here you can use to check online for solutions to some problems that you might have. I will leave it to on. And down you have share info with apps. Let apps use my name and account picture. I will leave it to no. Turn on Windows location so apps ask for. So I'm gonna also use it as no. Then next. Here you can enter your email address with a Microsoft account so they could send you maybe about some apps from the Windows Store and something like that so I'm gonna enter my email then click next it's checking for a Microsoft account as you can see here they need my password for Microsoft account, I'm gonna enter it. Then next. Here, if you wanna add security info, they will just use it to recover your password and keep your account more secure. Here you have to choose the country that you live in and to enter your phone number or alternate email. I'm gonna do that and then click next. Now it's creating your account. Back there you can choose not to add your phone number if you don't want to, but you have to put an alternate email just in case so now it's finished you can see this is the start for the first time screen So now starting for the first time, you can see up my name and this is the start and this is the screen. So to go to the other screen, you already know how, just slide your mouse right or left. So that was it guys. This video was about a dual boot and here you got it. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, like, if you have any comment, just write it below and I will answer it as fast as I can. Again, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.